What is the history of the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam? The commander of the faithful instructed his sons to bury him at this location here. We have narrations from the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, highlighting the burial place of Imam Ali alayhi salam to be at this particular location. Imam Ali told his sons that he will be buried next to two other prophets, Prophet Adam and Prophet Nuh, peace be upon them. It was the night of the 21st of Ramadan, 40 after Hijrah. The sons of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam al Hassan, peace be upon him, Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, Muhammad ibn al Hanafiya, as well as the Imam's cousin, Abdullah ibn Ja'far, buried Imam Ali alayhi salam secretly and concealed the grave. Why was the grave of Imam Ali alayhi salam concealed? Well, the reason is outlined by a number of scholars such as Sheikh Ibn Tawus. He says the concealment of the grave and its location was due to the fear of the enemies like the Umayyads and the Kharijites. This is because it was possible that they would try to find his grave and exhume his body, which would have inevitably led to a conflict with the Bani Hashim tribe. Through this, several people would be killed and it would cause a large fitna, conflict in the Muslim community. The Imam Ali Salam was extremely concerned with the well-being of the Muslim nation during his lifetime and made constant effort to extinguish the fire of fitna. As such, it was to be expected that he would encourage the same line of thought and actions that he embodied throughout his life to continue after his death and that he would want his family and his followers to abandon what could be a source of conflict. During this period of time that the grave was hidden, it was visited by a number of the Imams of the Ahl al-Bayt and perhaps close companions. This included Imam Zayn al-Abideen the fourth holy Imam, Imam al-Baqir as well as Imam al-Sadiq, peace and blessings be upon them, the fifth and the sixth Imam. Later, Imams such as Imam al-Hadi and Askari, peace and blessings be upon them, also visited the grave of their grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen, as well. In the year 75 after Hijrah, Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi ordered that 3,000 graves are exhumed in this area. He wanted to find the body of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Of course, he was unsuccessful in the era of Imam al-Sadiq when the Umayyads were being ousted from the Caliphate, there was no longer a reason for the grave of Imam Ali salam to remain hidden. Due to this, gradually the location of the grave became known and exposed to everyone. It has been narrated that one of the companions of Imam al-Sadiq by the name of Safwan sought permission from Imam to tell the Shias of Kufa where the burial place of Imam Ali السلام, was, Imam responded in the affirmative and also gave money for the repair and construction of the grave. This was in the year 132 after Hijrah. The narration is told that Safwan al Jamal said, I was with Asadiq, peace be upon him, and we reached Kufa. He said to me, O oh, Safwan, this is the grave of my grandfather Amir al Mu'mineen. He then performed ghusl, changed his clothes, walked barefoot and told me to do the same. He said to me, walk slowly with short steps. For every step you take, you'll be granted a hundred thousand good deeds and a hundred thousand sins will be erased. A hundred thousand status will be raised and a hundred thousand wishes and hajat will be fulfilled. Then I walked with him as he was walking with tranquility and humility, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through tasbih. At the grave, he gave me permission to inform people of Kufa about the location of where the Imam alayhi salam was buried. 